Hello everyone! So for today, I'm going to introduce to you to a video analysis software called Kinovea. So first, um, where can you download the Kinovea software? So you just have to visit the kinovea.org website. So as you can see, uh, when I type the kinovea.org website, you will be introduced with this one. And then you can see a lot of features of this software. So you can observe and annotate. You can do comparison of videos. And of course, you can perform measurement of different movements. So basically, this Kinovea software is mostly used by sports analysts okay, or coaches or trainers to improve an, an athlete's performance. But of course, because of the de the tele-rehab practice, we can also apply this to conduct assessments for our patients. Okay, Now, where you can download, you can just click here, download, or on that button, or this one, Kinovea Setup, that XA, or just go back here and just click this one, Download. Now, um, I would like to inform everyone to take note that this is completely free. It's written here. It's completely free and open source, so you can freely download and install it on your computers. However, this software is only available for windows users and it's not yet available for mac users so so now once you're done downloading and installing your kinovea so when you open that software you'll be introduced with this interface or workspace okay so uh this blank space here would be your entire workspace okay so the first thing you have to do is of course to add your picture or your video for anal analysis okay so i have prepared here um one picture and one video so first you just have to click the specific uh document that you want to open and just double click it and there you go i have this fake picture so i will show you some of the buttons or uh functions that uh, is very useful here in Kinovea, okay? So this, as you can see, this cursor, I have a hand plus a plus sign. So this is for everything that you have to move. So this is for movement function, that's the hand, okay? And then when you go here, look here down below. So there is a show comment. So if you want to add comment on your, your work, you just click add comment and then you can put it on the side so while working on here you want to take some notes you can do it here okay now if you want to add texts on your file or on your image or on your video you can click here text okay so that you can add some label so now let's do it i will add some label here for the laterality of the image okay, and then add another one there okay and then you can adjust it using the hand button okay there you go now another function we have here is the pencil which is just like a freeform drawing okay oh yeah just like that hi okay <laughs> so that is the purpose of your pencil or for drawing for free form drawing okay and then what we have down here also is the line the circle and the cross marker I will start first with the cross marker this is like a landmark button that you can use to apply on your different landmarks on your picture okay so let's say we're observing the posture of this person of this image 
Now, obviously, we can already observe some differences when it comes to the shoulder height, okay? But if you want to be more specific, let's say, hey, I want to identify the acromion process and check on which one is really higher. So, you just apply this, click this cross marker and then apply it on uh, the landmark that you assume that is the acromion process, okay? So, there you go. Okay, so, an in assumption that there is the acromion process, we can see that one side is really higher, which is the right side. Now, um, just for us to visualize it more, you can use different lines, okay? You can add lines to the image to help you on analyzing it. So, for me, let's see, let's do this line and then just connect the dots, Okay, just like that, okay, we can have a clearer okay, representation that this image has a right side higher, right shoulder higher than the left, okay? Now, if you want to highlight which, which side is higher or if you want to, um, you know, take focus on one specific part of the image, you can also use the circuit. And this is just an example of how you can use these shapes, okay? I'm not saying this is the only function that you can do to it, okay? So, pwede nyo, you can draw line downward, you can draw line diagonally, it's up to you. And then for this one, circle, okay, so let's say I want to highlight this part. Okay, so I just drew a circle like that and put it like there, okay? But, I mean, you can do uh, a lot of things, so okay? it, it's up to you on how you will use these shapes, okay? Now, let me just delete this, okay? Just click the item and then you can delete. Now, let's again go back. For example, this is... A postural analysis and a, what what could be better is using a grid to analyze the posture so you can actually apply a grid here okay so just click on this side on the upper part of this um, workspace and then click image and then select grid okay and then you'll be greeted with the grid here Right. So let's say I have to position this grid, and then let me just show you. Okay. So let's just imagine or assumption that in this area where I'm applying this cross marker, look at the cursor here, is a T3 area. Okay. So now you want to check. Okay, which one is higher from that area, from that line? Which one is higher? Uh, is it the left side or the right side? Okay, now let me introduce another feature. Okay, so let's say I want to assign, I want to measure the distance from T3 to this acromion process and this acromion process. Okay, so what you can do is just draw a line. And for me, let's say, the height of this grid, I will make this as a res reference point. Okay. And then you can just right click on that line and click calibrate measure. Um, and this is arbitrary, so you can decide on um, what, what height or what length you want to assign on that specific image or line okay so for me i want to assign this as three centimeters per height okay so this line of the box is three centimeters this is just arbitrary okay so you can assign it on your own now if this is my reference point now if i will add a line from this acromion process downward okay and then 
one more here okay there you go you can see that uh, if you're going to check on the line per, uh, parallel to the T3 okay so right shoulder is 1.78 centimeters higher compared to the left which is 0 0.8 centimeters higher this is for the arbitrary measurement so you just can ha you can see um, a percentage of how much is the difference in the distance between the two points that you have used okay and then um, other functions of Kinovay of course you can also apply angle and then stopwatch and for uh, perspective grid so you can apply it if the image is in diagonal or it's not perpendicular or parallel or straight okay and then magnifier you can use that and then select this one select that one okay so magnifier uh, for you to zoom in on one specific area so you can do that and then just select in there then um, if you're interested in, you know, uh, creating better labels for your image, you can just write here, uh, click here, the color profile. So, you can change the uh, font color and then the font size and then the color of your pencil, the line or the circle, etc. Okay? down here would be a workspace if you're analyzing a video which i will do on the next one okay so if you're interested for more features just explore how you can use your kinovea to you know perform your assessment or analysis okay i would like to add okay so for example you're done with your measurements okay and you want to save you want to save this image that you have created so what you have to do is just click down here on the lower right side of this workspace you can click here save image okay so when you click the save image you will be introduced to uh, this explorer and then you can save the image okay so let's just say posture okay. okay posture and then click it save so you have already saved this image okay so this would be first the introduction to the basic features okay on my next video i will show you how you can actually use the Kinovea to do your range of motion assessment, okay?